What's happening folks and welcome to an episode of Maggie Knight Let's Play. Today we are on the youth development screen because we are back with the save now. We're doing, because the bloating was basically split down the middle uh, at the time of recording this, um, on what to do with the Madrid series, I thought I'd bring them both back because some of you really want Maggie United series, some really want Madrid, some I'm guessing maybe want both. So I thought I'd bring it back. So one day Real Madrid, one day Man United, and then once one series ends, the next series comes daily, and then we go from there. Um, so both series, they aim to win Champions League with them, and then move forward. And a little bit of news for you guys who are watching this video, who maybe get this far into the video and don't sit, you know, so hit the subscribe button, like button, all that good stuff. There will be a Man United series every year on Football Manager, every season, every single game. There'll be a one, at least one year, one series Man United. Uh, where I win the Champions League with them every year because that's people say what, what's your niche Man United is my niche not really unique I get that but it's my thing and I think every year having that Man United save would be cool people say oh Man United save this year look forward to seeing what you do, how he does this year with them and go from there so every year Man United save so we've got games I've come to look at forgive me though I recorded these way back ages ago so I don't remember I can't describe the results but you can see the results you see the goals anyway So it's three wins out of three. The only one I remember was Everton. Um, and has been really good in that game. Um, I don't remember the performances in the matches at all. That's the honest truth. Um, so, yeah. So we've got West Ham today and Bayern Munich. And the next episode will be the Brighton, Brighton Cup Final, which obviously will be its full life comp. And then we're not far in this season, really. But we're, we're, we're doing all right this season. We're, we're going to get top four. That's our aim. We have three points clear at the top. Of course, team will gaming hand over us. Um, but we've got a bit of goal difference. So I think we're doing really good this season. I'm very happy we're having this going, especially with a certain right winger and a certain striker. Anyway, guys, let's get into the action, shall we, and see how we get on today. We're going to go to the key, key highlights today uh, while I get back into the flow of the series. Um, Anthony out injured. Not sure how long he's out for. How long he out for? Three to five weeks. Bugger. I forgot about that. But Sancho's right wing though means he, he, he can play and maybe we can maybe we can get um some value for it. I'm not sure about I'm not dead set on selling Sancho. Palm is like, nah, I should use the man. Should, should, should use the man. Um, um as the inverted wing on the right hand side and might save me some money down the line. Uh but your thoughts on the guys, anyone had any success with with Jenny Sancho as a right winger? Um if you have, let me know. It'd be cool if you have, that'd be fantastic. Um, but yeah, I'm still learning the game. Uh, I'm still learning the tactics, still learning how the match engine works. Um, I'm not trying to exploit it by any, by any means, but I'm still learning it. So, one key highlight just for this episode is to get him back, back into the flow of recording this series. So, we go on with the goal kick. He finds Todibo. Don't stay too long there. Bruno Fernandes, Jaden Sancho. Not helping his cause, not staying here long term by doing that, but he's lost the ball twice there. Hoyland, Rashford. Take their Hoyland's in, surely a goal. 
Oh my god, it should have been. That should have been 1-0. Hoyland, he's been so clinical this season, that's usually a goal. And turns got a knock here. But we've got a free kick. Bruins going to take it. This ball's got to be good. He might go for goal here. Yeah, I think he's going to go for goal, isn't he? Yeah, reaction to loose ball. Can we get there, Sancho? Toribo? Casemiro? It's getting a bit bugged down here. Get to get wide. There we go. Inacho. Not guy on the wing you want to see usually, but he's done well there. Two on the punch, deflected, and that's gone out of play. Strong start there. Should be ahead. Should be should be a goal ahead though. Thinking for Bruno Fernandes, he's gonna go for goal again. Hopefully not. Hopefully he goes to the far post with this. He goes for goal here. Very disappointing. It's a it's an awkward angle for a, for a finish. I don't know why we're standing so long. He's peace crossed this in Bruno. Deflected. Oh, it's in. It's in. It's Manchester United one, West Ham United nil. It's it's not that good a goal when you look at the deflection. Um, I think the deflection helps him out. They got he got he got fortunate here. Hits the shot. Look at the deflection here. Yeah, the keeper should have better. Actually, the keeper should have been better. Actually, right, and the actually helps him in a way. One nil. We deserve to be in this game. We've we've we've, we've the only the only height we've had is us. Um, but now they've woken up. Now I think Ward Prowse, Alves, Bowen, Dutton, quit inside. I just don't understand fullbacks on the game this year. I really don't. The, you, you just the one thing Bowen's going to want to do there is cut inside, and it's one shot, one goal. Um, Luke Shaw here's going to do better. He, He's not marking anybody there. He's just standing off. He's got to do better here. Can't let him cut inside like this. On Anna here, another deflected goal. Uh, we've scored one. They've scored one. So it's even doubt in one game. Half time 1 1. Just not good enough. Um, it's at the performance level. Um, not pleased with the performance level. They're getting more of the balls than us, which again, I'm still not sure which formation I want to go with. Oh, God. Here we go. Guys. Jump, please, in the air. <laughs> when the ball goes in the air, try jumping and, and just be more, be more stronger. But again, we, we, we're not going to win title this season. But these results, come on, guys, get all the ball. This is giving give Nicholas now. Get it clear. Jump, Bruno, Rashford, run, Rashford, run, run, Rashford. There's no passing option on. Way too long. Run with the ball. When when you get the ball at that, and there's no one there, you got to run up the pitch and just try and get moves move up the pitch. So we're looking leggy. Um, so Hoyland's coming off for Martial, Ganacho's coming on for Rashford, um, Mount can come on, I see, I, want, I need, I need options at right wing, um, Massey can come on, Mount can come on for, for Sancho, just to give everything final fair, I, I was going to be going for Turan, but Turan's not too bad, but yeah, I think it's just the combination of, we're not perfect, and this is what's happening today, unfortunately, in this match, Ganacho, Turan, can we get a late winner here? Bruno Fernandes down the right hand side. Dallow. Bruno Fernandes. Dallow. Mount. Bruno Fernandes deflected and no one's there for it. it. Doesn't fall for us. That's the best. That's the chance. That was the chance to win it. Yeah, I think too many players not performing today in the final third. We just we didn't keep the ball well well enough either, which is really disappointing given we were given playing West United and we're at home. But it is what it is. Um, we're not perfect. It's it was going to happen. Um, at some point we're going to drop silly points because this team isn't brilliant um, but we're comfortably in top four anyway Bayern Munich next that's going to be a massive massive problem for us so they offered me this guy this guy and just an interesting suggestion now <laughs> you know he's on my own duty service so I'm not going to do this but that's funny isn't it right guys match number two against Bayern Munich and based on the fact that this team looks like it, you know, that front four is going to be a nightmare I think they should be favourites to win this game we need to invest in this team and it's going to take a while for to win Champions League with this team honestly so he's a right back so he needs to mark Sane good luck Dallo by the way I do think this the back four is fine I think, I think, again I think full backs are a thing we need, to, we need to improve upon honestly but I wouldn't be surprised if we get absolutely battered today it would not surprise me one bit um so Rashford marking Kimmich. It should be a problem, but it's more stopping the out the out balls um being as easy. And you can mark Davies. Yeah, so we need to strengthen. Um, but we shall see what happens, guys. I don't expect to win this game. Um if we won Champions League first season, I'd be stunned. Um, honestly, I really would. I don't have a problem with it. Um, but yeah. Um usually it takes me three or four seasons to win Champions League with a team. And then once we do that, previously, in the olden days, when I used to do long-term saves offline, which I need to get back to doing really, get really, really, get really into a save. It would take me three or four years and then I would dominate everything. 
that's what will happen with my saves. Usually my United saves, for example, given that we're talking about them here. I had three, four years, start building up a team, get a formation set up, get used get being everything, everything nailed down with the scouting system and everything going like that. And then literally we'd start just beating teams three or four nil and the league would be over by March or February and in Champions League we'd just you know we we'd get we'd breeze through it. Of course next year of course if if, if we don't win Champions League this season which I don't think we will We've got the whole league phase, which I've never, I've never actually used that yet. I've never, I've never, I've never been like, um, never experienced it yet. Foot manager, and Kane almost scored. Just deal with it, guys. Guys, push out, push out again. Don't let him turn. Well done, Dallo. If we can get out of here with a now defeat or even better, obviously a win, I'd be delighted. But I imagine it's not going to be, it's going to be a nightmare to get anything out of this game because these, these guys are signed scored. Yeah, it's far plus. It's our full backs, I poor. The, that is not acceptable from Dello. He's got to do better than that. And I do think the keeper shouldn't be in his near post either. One nil, one nil back. My back, my back, my back, my back, This is poor. But easy crossing the box. We don't engage enough. And Onana there, he's got to do better than that. He's got to be switched on better. One nil back, my But this is what I expected to happen, really. Sancho. That's pathetic. He's gave that. He's gave that away. He's gave up on that. Again, trying to get a team to press in this game is still something I cannot master yet. Stay with the full backs. Again, you you can press a bit better there, Bruno. You can press them. See, you know, no, no, no point you going into there because there's no point you going into there because yeah, the, the, they're sticking with the tank, but then then they break it when they don't when they to stay with your men. Oh, Luke Shaw, you more one. That's Champions League over. Yeah, there's no reason. No. Yeah, the tie's over. We're going to get battered here. Um, Luke Shaw, y you can't do anything about that. When a player does that, it's like you might as well pull the towel in. Um, doing a two lunge like that when there's no need to. The ball's in halfway line. Let him have the ball there and just get tight to him and push him back. Don't dive in there for like, a, like, a, like an idiot. Yeah, you can't, you can't do anything about that. When a player does that, that's not that's not coaching. That's just down to players being crap, and then get rid of the ball. Turn around. You're under pressure, mate. Again, they they don't have any self awareness on the pitch. Get rid of the ball. Under pressure wants you at the pitch. That's what he's trying to get his team to do. But it's, it's difficult, and this is difficult when you have a ten minute against Bayern. Get rid of one defeat. I'll take it. Oh no, no, in that show. Last year. Rashford, nice take. Depends here. Hoyland! Oh, he's got to score. Has to score. Oh, we should have we could we should have Holland has been really poor in the last two games. He should have scored against West Ham and probably should have scored there. Walk was in the box, cleared Rashford in Pants area. And just giving them down to ten men, this is actually kind of encouraging, but my worry is that the fitness will start dropping soon and then we're gonna have problems with like the the X man will start telling more. On the box and Naya and no, no, no catches it. That's a big chance that with ten men, that's got to be a goal. I don't care who's in net for Bayern. That's got to be a goal. With the form he's in, he's got to score that. Um, but given that they're down with down ten men, that's not a terrible. That's not terrible. Um, but it just makes you think. If we had, I think we do this in full. I think both my saves are the same problem. Our fullbacks are what are poor. Um, and we just jump and signs in on goal. Bruno, get it clear. No, don't do that though. Don't just whack it clear. Composure on the ball. Yeah, no composure on the ball, Bruno. You've got to take a touch there and look for a better pass than that. I get, I get you. I get what you're trying to do, but you can't just turn and panic. You've got. He's got. Look at that. There's no reason to play a ball there. Run it out. Play a better pass. But there's, but there's, there's no composure on the ball there from Bruno. And then here. It's a it's a it's, it's a calamitous goal. It comes off it comes off our defender and Nana again. He's got to save that. I'm sorry. It's right there. Get your hand on it. It's a save. And yeah, this is what I thought would happen. Um, we, do, we, we, we make too many mistakes and we're not perfect yet to win Champions League football. But Holland should score make two one or one one at a time. Muslera, Gnabry, Kimmich. See, now we've got no shape now because we can't defend this. Ties over. Take the players off. There's no reason to keep them on this game, really. There's no point keeping them on this, though, to be honest. Ties over. We're just not good enough um, at times. 
Bruno, you can come off. Uh, let's get Van der Beek on. Why the hell not? There's no reason. To, we're three 0 down. There's no reason to keeping these guys on the pitch. Um, our back can come on as well. There's no point keeping on. Resting for the champion. Resting for the cup final. We've been screwed over by um, that stupid decision from Luke Shaw to do a two foot challenge on a guy from behind on the halfway line in the first half when it's only one nil. And after that, they just picked us apart. I can't get my team to play this kind of football. And that's really poor defensively. Look, you can't let Kane just walk in there like that. Um, but yeah, it's what I thought would happen. We're getting demolished. So put on extended highlights for the end so we get a problem to the game. But Luke Shaw's getting absolute rollicking from me. I wish I could find 10 weeks wages for that. It's just a ridiculous decision. But again, it's down to composure. Both issues. Two of the, one of the goals is down to... One of the, the red cards is down to back, like, like a composure. Just diving in where you don't need to. And then the, the, the second goal, is it? When Bruno just doesn't take a touch and work out a better pass. It just panics and goes, right, get rid of it. No composure on the ball. You can't just turn and whack a ball clear like that. You've got to take a touch there. And the player, like his quality, should be doing better than that. But it's our fullbacks. They're not good enough. All our fullbacks could be sold in the summer um, and moved on. And yeah, when when, when Holland's missing chances like that, Bayern Munich 3, Man United nil. Yeah, Bayern Munich, yeah, you won against 10 men. Well done. It's not that impressive based on we should have been level with 10 men. Um Luke Shaw, you can't go down you can't go down, down ten men with a team that's not even built perfectly yet and expect to get anything out of Bayern Munich. You, you you just can't. You know what? You get in a you, you get in a two week fine. Um you are. But again, you look at the fitness issues there with Bruno and Bruno and um Rasmus. We we'd we'd, we'd build a squad up. There's not we would take Holland out, there's no striker there. Marshall's not good enough. I'm not I don't want to keep him long term. Uh I just don't trust him. Um, take Bruno out. There's no one else in midfield. You know, you see what I mean. We need to improve this team. We're two players off it. We don't. We don't function. And it showed much time United game as well. But overall, you can't fault the season. It's been a very good start. To, to very very good start. Um, so next episode, obviously, is the cup final against against Brighton. Uh, I'm just hoping that defeat's not going to be demoralising. It shouldn't be. If we need to get this out of their head, that our defeat does not destroy the morale of a team. I say every single time. Losing it against Bayern Munich away from home with 10 men should not destroy the team around function. But it will do, most likely. But Brighton next in the cup final. Hopefully we can win that game. But still to learn, learn what West I think is to use and for, and things like that. Overall, I think it's been going well. Overall, I can say it's, it's working. It's just, I think, adding in more quality below the first 11 and moving players on. Van der Beek, maybe Sancho could be one of them. Martial, um, Amabat, Eriksen, all those players. Look at the way, get better full backs in. May look at a goalkeeper as well. There's a lot we can improve upon this team, but I think we've we've got a really good solid base of a team. Anthony, of course, being the god of right wingers right now, 15 goals, 12. That's not helping us. He's been missing. So they've made games circumstances, but I think we are played by a better team and we're 10 men. That's the honest truth. And it's just ridiculous from Luke Shaw to just think he's a. You know what? Can I have a can I have a about that? Yeah, he agrees. Again, Luke Shaw, somebody he's 20 years old, we can maybe do better than him. And some, you know, So we can do a lot of improvements. But we shall see. If any thoughts, guys, on players, look at the sign. Let me know in the comment section. I'm always welcome to open to ideas, especially in the safe. I always say it's our, always say it's our safe, not your safe. So, guys, if you enjoyed, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.